Here is a um, soft tissue laser from uh, the company Dance Plus Verona. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use the machine for ease of understanding. Look at this. It's a very simple device, easy to hold, handle there. You can support it with your hand, that means the assistant can also hold it next to you. Now, when we are starting, a few things must be highlighted. Like we have seen in the text, lasers can be dangerous to your eyes. They can also be a danger to the tissues of the patient. They are actually a danger to your eyes, those of your assistant and your patient. That means that at the start, we need to have three sets of special glasses, protective eyewear. As you can see, we have one, two, and three. So this is meant for the patient, for you and your assistant. So this will be for you or your assistant. Well, in this, you have special eyewear for your patient. Again, it is not any other eyewear. It's special for laser treatment. I'll get rid of this for now. The other important thing is when using lasers, the other important thing is the laser tip. So depending on what application you want to undertake, then you will have to choose a laser tip appropriately. Yeah. So that's the laser tip. So to start the machine, we press start. go it has some signals there so you always know when the machine is on notice when it first goes on it's important to read every instruction whether you're an experienced user or a first-time user this is a potentially harmful uh, source of radiation to your patient so it's important to read all the instructions there you go, just, uh, you know, the machine is still insisting you need to read on uh, everything that's written. So, when you work in a clinic where there are many potential users of the machine, personally, I like to save my programs and therefore I have a password for my laser machine. So, let's key in the pin. See, that was the wrong pin, so I need to repeat. There you go. So, since I use this a lot, these are my preferred uh, programs. There's nothing that you need to cram. This machine comes with preset programs. You just pick those that you like, and then that should be your first screen. Otherwise, when it's a new user, they'll usually go to applications. And these are the main applications for this laser machine. This particular laser machine has 21 applications. As you can see, you have surgery, periodontology, endodontics, soft tissue laser, miscellaneous, and my applications. My applications is what I commonly use. But um, just so that at least you have an idea of how to use this. So for instance, our topic today is on the use of lasers in restorative dentistry. So for instance, we can choose endodontics. What can you do under endodontics? There's endogam reduction, like I demonstrated to you a case we did in 2019. You can also do pulpotomy and you can also remove gangrene, you know, gangrene treatment. All right. What else can you do? If you came to miscellaneous you'll find a few other useful uh, applications for instance desensitization when you have very sensitive teeth again that will fall under restorative dentistry hemostasis you know instead of using a retraction code you can actually do 
uh, hemostasis using a laser machine. After that, as I'm happy that's beyond the topic for today. But there's something special I also want to show you, what is called soft tissue laser. Sometimes patients come with all manner of uh, issues. What will be of interest today is the dentin hypersensitivity. Again, you do not need to cram anything. I'll show you, pick one and show you how to use. Now, this, like I said, is what I commonly do. Today, when doing a crown and bridge, for instance, you might sometimes want to do a bit of gingivectomy. Say the gingiva is in your way and, you know, your crowns, the margins are not fitting, you might want to use that. All right? You can do implant and recovery. Again, that falls under restorative dentistry. So this is what I commonly do. What I demonstrated to you earlier in the text was gingivectomy. So, uh, and that will also fall under restorative dentistry. There's something else I want to show. Periodontology. Again, peri-implantitis, peri per, germ reduction. Under restorative dentistry, sometimes you might have a perio lesion, so this might also be useful. Okay. Um, what else might I want to show you? Under surgery, we have all those. Removal abscess, epuli, fibroma, phrenectomies, gingivectomy gingivoplasty remember the case that i was showing you of uh, gingival trophin as you can see it's down there so this is very nice when you're doing uh, impressions or say you've done a crown prep and you want to use a cad cam machine the intraoral scanner instead of having to use many retraction codes you can you you can do gingival trophin with your laser machine like I also said, implant and recovery will fall under this topic. So, for instance, let's take one random thing. Let's go to gingival trophy. When you pick that, the wavelength, like we talked about, the power, timing, the duty cycle, and the frequency, all those settings are already in the machine. It is rare that you need to adjust. But again, if you go for further training, I don't want to get into that. Yes, there are times when I need to adjust to achieve um, you know something now in this case let's assume that we want to use this laser machine for gingival trophy with a preset you know uh, program as you can see so once I am happy with that I'm just going to press that button there and notice what it tells me where protective goggles like we said laser light is a danger to your eyes to your patient and to your assistant so everyone in the room must put on protective eyewear otherwise they need to stand away or actually out of the room should anyone wish to to, to participate in the room then they cannot look at the bit where you're working yeah so once you you've made sure that everyone has eyewear on then you will say okay all right but there's something that i'm about to do which will be wrong you shouldn't start your laser machine and go ahead to actually choosing a program before you have inserted a laser tip. Yeah. So let me just pull off this cable for now. And I think for the purposes of this demonstration, this is okay. So you ought to have picked a laser tip, like I am doing here, and then. We insert it there like that and you pull the protective cap off so here I hope my video can clearly show is the laser tip all right <clears throat> so that laser tip the beautiful thing is that you can actually bend it the way you wish when you have those hard to reach areas you can actually bend this tip and you use it so once we are happy with this you will then say okay and notice that it tells you it's the laser machine is ready for use depending on what wavelength you're working on the light will change so it can either be blue green or it can be red because this is three in one so you see the tip there it's on with your naked eyes this is a danger now to make sure that the laser tip 
is fine enough for use. It's important to reflect on an area there and you should get a sharp circle. You know, you should be able to see a very well defined circle. As I go out, of course, it comes blood, but as I go in, it should be a sharp circle. This is still not uh, dangerous to your eyes until you press this button here for start. So once I am happy with that, I have decided what site I want to do gingival trophy. Then in that case, I would need to press the start button. And when you start to press, I want you to hear a certain sound there. See, it becomes blue and it makes that noise because we said it's in the machine. Everything is already set. You do not need to cram anything. So once you have your eyewear, I want you to look at the light there. So it makes noise and that is how to use this machine yeah so that's a good demo once you're happy with your procedure you need to press stop and it says would you wish to confirm that indeed you want to store the machine you say yes and now that will be the end of our procedure so that's a short demo should anyone be interested in details, we will be happy to teach you, but of course outside dental school. Thank you.